So, we're going to give a puzzle, we're going to give a message out. Next book. And that's all we have to do. A door opens in the distance. So when you hear this music again, you're on a timer, basically. Mm. Of course, Gabriel, of course, has no urgency at all. So he still intends to stroll around in his trench coat, hoping that fucking Dr. John doesn't find him. So this is tray, this is, yeah, door six. Card here. Snatch. <laughs> Snatch indeed. And snatch and grab. And get the fuck out of there. But again, the key part is then don't then walk where he's gonna come from either. Mm. So normally the oh now it was a little bit too late there, you see. There's Dr. Oh, John. No. Yeah. Bit of bad luck in my case there, but He's a real knight. So it was you on the drums. Uh, no. Malia invited me down. You lie. <laughs> you will die for that. And he does. <laughs> I really don't want to be dead. Can you try that again? There is actually something quite wonderful about okay, being choked out by Michael Dorn of all people. <laughs> it's like, to be fair, like, you don't normally see it in Star Trek. He doesn't so, choke people out, he only cuts them. So wouldn't that be easier to go to a different door then? Yes, exactly. Because you want to cut the time you want to go to, so. Because like you went to that one, but you still have to go like fucking like. That's it, yeah. Jesus, that's so slow. Very slow. Now, fair is like you can improve the game speed, but it still happens in the same, in real time in yeah. a sense. So it's actually, it's actually easier sometimes to play this slow pace to give yourself an opportunity. So, the reason to do that, by the way, I am going to write the wrong way there, but it's to give Dr. John a chance to fucking move, essentially. So thankfully this one, that path is a lot quicker this time around. We should not get caught in the middle and accosted by a Klingon in like, you know, animal wrappings. Do you like his uh, voodoo decor there, Kira? Very chic. <laughs> chic is the word I'd use for that. Is he trying to summon, like, Shao Kahn? <laughs> <laughs> That's a crossover we never really got, was it? Mortal Kombat and Gabriel Knight. Almost the same letters. So essentially you're just walking around to avoid them. Exactly it, yeah. Now there are some blank rooms where you can just kind of hide in until the music stops. Which we're going to do. A door opens and shuts in Case the in distance. Point. Dr. John must have returned to his room. Yep, yeah, Dr. So I just took a, good, a little bit of a cut here, so I think we're going straight to the the plot here, if I'm not mistaken. So you're trying to find Grace now? Uh, I know where Grace is. Um, it is actually just one more... There's two more rooms we can go to, I think. Oh, with the key carriage, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Hands. Oh, look! Money! Money! Oh, boy. In fact, yes. That's how, this is the good ending. If you don't get the money, it's it's not necessarily the perfect ending. I know it's dirty money, but it's for a good cause. Me. <laughs> I love 
love that line. I'm a good cop. Those saws weigh a ton. Those bags look heavy, like about 40 pounds a piece. <laughs> Just take stacks. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I can't carry any more. Aww. If only he's wearing a cargo well, pants and be a millionaire. A million or so <laughs> will it hold me? A million or a million. so. Yeah. It is not half game. <laughs> just fuck off. You're just so done with him. <laughs> we are taking, we are, to be fair, we are taking his word that he took a million dollars there. So, you know, mm -hmm. never know. I suppose if, there, if it's 250 grand in one stack. I was going to say, if, it, if it's a stack of 500s. Mm. But then again, like, these are like unwashed fucking tens and twenties, you know, it's not like going to work out. The other room that, oh, this is the, I, I, I thought we were missing this room, but no, it's a, uh, I'll touch the room. A stainless steel bucket is on the floor. Its contents are better left unsaid. Underneath the surgical... Uh, I do like that there is, like, someone essentially doing autopsies on the human sacrifices they're making, it's like... Well, what happened to him, Doctor? I'll give you one fucking guess. Oh, that's what they do with them. But why? Maybe I shouldn't even ask. They're used for some powerful... Sometimes the narrator comes across as if, like, she's having a conversation with Gabriel. With Gabriel Knight, yeah. It's, it, it's very much a, the narration version of a leading question. It looks like a deep freeze in there. A smart... A small stainless steel table on wheels provides a surface for instruments during the procedures performed in this room. Now the question stainless is where do you get the bodies, but um, the you'd have to guess from the likes of Crash, for example, who, are, who was voodoo to death. Mm -hmm. So they'd probably take what they need from him and then use them as part of the Grigory. And they also have some death masks on the wall there, which is uh, pleasant, to say the least. Anyway, again, not important to the plot, just a room to be filled out. Because they had boxed themselves in to, uh, <laughs> to do in 12 rooms. Now, I think she, I thought she was in room 11, but I'd say she might just be in uh, this one here. Hey, Roberto, I'll save in there just in case. Yeah, no, it's, it, this is the point where like you do have to save Austin. It's locked. Oh, have you mean it? There is Grace now. I found out. The sound of rather drums echoed yeah. through the house. So see what I mean? No matter when you the find Grace, the, the ritual will start, will start. So you have to have everything ready before you find her. So this is a very trial and error. Hey, Mosley. Mosley, you made it. Thank God. I thought I saw you ducking in here. Here, take this. Here's all the plot relevant stuff you need. Those goddamn drums started as soon as I got off that elevator thing. I heard voices from yeah. above. I have a feeling the last voodooies are about to invade. Mm -hmm. I found Grace. I see that. Check her out. Then you and I need to find a way to blend into the woodwork, bud. Bud. Hey, buddy. buddy. Grace. <laughs> I am not Polly Shore. Grace, wake up. Do the thing to pick up. Grace does I not do respond. <laughs> hey, Mosley. Amy, wake up. Need to thank me for not about it. Water for. She's knocked out. <sighs> Fine. Myself and Amy will have a lovely chat on the chair. Don't it. Grace, wake up. Grace. What? What's going on? Gabriel! Yeah. Mostly! Where are we? What's going on? We're in the Getty Cartel house. It's a pretty powerful medallion. Yes. Mm. The ritual is about to begin. Just kept our fucking out cold. Yeah. With the main course. Is that what those drums are? No medication <laughs> needed, folks. Sleep, no. <laughs> just good just old magic. Fashion voodoo. Just, yeah, good old, just good old fashioned magic. Be serious. What are we going to do now? Right. Let's make a plan. What do you want us to do, Gabriel? I know stuff. You're asking me? Oh, God, we're in trouble. <laughs> well, I realize I'm the professional, but you do know more about what we're up against here. Okay, okay. Grace, they expect you to be unconscious, so you better play it. That should put you in a good position when it's time. Mm. Mostly, 
You and I will be with the other ritualists. As for the ritual itself, I'd say take it out of our woods. I remember from the bayou that she didn't show up until Dr. Jones blew that drug on Maya's face. If I can prevent him from doing that, we can keep Tatalo out of it, I think. Well, can you even just have a chat that? there? I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh-huh. What if Tatalo does show up? Let's just worry about making sure that <laughs> doesn't happen. Okay, so you're going to prevent this spirit He's type of showing up. Fine. I'll take care of the big guy, Dr. John, when the time comes. <laughs> And I can handle Maya herself, as long as she is Maya. Well, keep an eye on her, our own good, but don't hurt her. Who? Me? We'll wait for your signal, man. Fine, but you guys aren't going to get far looking like that. You uh -huh. telling him not to hurt? Uh, Maya. Oh, right, yeah. she's still, yeah, okay. You're still convinced that, like, she can, he can save her? <sighs> yeah, it's a disguise. Gee, a bore. How thoughtful. And what are you, pray to? Uh, a wolf? <laughs> you goddamn wiener. This is... <laughs> you goddamn wiener. I love that. Oh, yeah. He just chucks the coat oh, on the floor. Yeah. The bed is right there. By the way, that's, that's the coat with all the money, by the way. Yeah. Race, get down. Sketch. Oh, what are you doing here? This room was empty. Go to the I prefer if you went to, to do the Zoe Rich Priest voice there. I tried to watch the room was empty. Oh, there's other boys now. This is what we call them the lads. So now Grace is being a sacrifice, of course. And there's Malia in her uh, in her uh, get up, I suppose. Okay, this might take a bit of trial and error, but there is a, a logic to what we're going to do here. Yeah, those chickens uh, didn't have a good time. Q to show off our medallion. Guilty dodge. Wah! Oh. And Mosley shot. <laughs> Boom. Oh, and there's the uh, sacrifice. Sacrifice, yes. But that's the thing, it's now exposed the idol. Oh, shit. This is the bit of checkmate here. Tetula, you want the talisman? Here, catch. Oh. Go on, get Grace out of here. The talisman will protect you. What about? Just go. Because if you if you didn't do that, otherwise your Mosley or Grace would die. So this is the good ending, a essentially. Uh, oof. Malia, are you? Damn. She's too powerful. Aha, uh -huh. we'll see the idol. No. Stop. Boom. We're fucked. Oh, yeah, how's that for an ending? <laughs> Not dramatic at all. Go ahead. Destroy her. Destroy me. You are truly your father's son, witch hunter. I'm going to 
Gabriel, please. I've got you, Maria. No. Again, this is also part of the good ending. Did you actually try to help Malia? I won't let you kill her. Gabriel, you didn't betray me. I've got you. Uh, it's no good. It has to end with me. No. Don't let go. Damn it. Don't you let go. Goodbye, my love. No. With the idol, no less. And that's the end of the game. I think it's over now. Yes. Yeah. By the way, that's the square in New Orleans. I know you cared for her. <laughs> Where the earth is cracked open. You've changed, you know. Have I? Yeah. They want to fix that. So, mm -hmm. um, are you going to do it? Be shot in Yanker? I'm going to try. Don't worry, though. You'll be back at school, safe and sound. I don't have to go back. Grace. Give up your PhD? There are things in this world, Gabriel. A spiritual path could be more important than a path of the mind. Spiritual path, huh? Well, you're welcome to study, Gracie. Just as long as you don't expect me to know what I'm doing. <laughs> that would be weird otherwise. This is a fair. historical moment, isn't it? 300 years ago, the rare talisman was stolen by Tetala. She used to draw her family to power while your family withered. She helped provoke the slave revolt in Haiti. She's probably the reason for a lot of the flavor and history of New Orleans. Good and bad. Now she's gone and your family is restarting. Yeah, it almost makes you wonder, doesn't it? If it wasn't supposed to happen that way. You know, good coming from evil. You think too much. <clears throat> but really, I think the most tragic thing was all those generations of young women, like Maya, Trapped by this large, overriding personality, forced into a life of horror. Yeah, kind of reminds me of living with you, Grace. <laughs> you know what I said you've changed? <laughs> yeah? I was wrong. Are you sorry? Nah. Nah. They get out. And he's here, was so fucking close to the final score. Oy. Four away. Bastards. Thank you for playing Gabriel Knight. Indeed we are. Thank you for having. Thank you for being Gabriel Knight. So yeah, that's the that is the game. Job done. So um these are the people to thank. <laughs> yeah. No relation, I presume. Yeah. yeah. I do like the uh the um little broody uh face they've thrown in for the crack. See, I like doing shit like this in fairness. They're a very family run operation. You can see that all the all surnames. That guy just looks at his fat. Yes. So Laz, what did you uh what do you think of the game? What do you think it gave you in life? I actually liked it. Yeah? Yeah. Like, it takes a little bit to get get into, but like mm. it, it is very in-depth. Yeah. Yes. And it does kind of like it does force you to learn. Mm. Like I mean, learning German to in order to solve a puzzle. Yes. With no indication that you have to. Mm. It's like it's it's a mark of a good, like of a clever like, uh, like design. Yeah. Like for for the game and a good mechanic for it. Because mm. it is a lot of trial and error, but things like that is actually. Shit, is actually real like you can it feels like a, the world a lived in world like yeah 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 I know what you mean it's not just oh yeah nameless faceless fucking like move here there you go mm. move that like no this is actually like the characters that come into it you do, they have them built up enough that yeah like, oh shit uh, there's more in depth for them yeah like the fact that the fact that the, the characters are so well written in this game helps out because like they, they've established a dynamic between like some characters already and they just mm. build on it. It's like they go in like, okay, so here's Gabriel Knight, his best friend is this guy, he, they just do them slagging each other off, you know, for being fat and bald and all this mm. stuff. And then like, here's Grace, the person that works that works with Gabriel Knight, puts up with his shit, but keeps him in line. Keeps him in line, you know, and is a very good character as a result. You know? Um, and yeah, and, it's, and, and like there's enough there to kinda of scatter through the game to make it worthwhile. But but like, genuinely, like, I, I kind of go with what Fox said, like, this is my second or third time playing this game now. 
And again, what just kind of keeps bringing me back is the depth of the game. Like, it's just so... It's deeper than a game, like, that is normally like. Layers. Layers, yeah. There's a fa the fact there's so much education about it as well. You can learn about voodoo while you're playing this game, mm. which is very interesting. And a lot of it is so well researched. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, how about yourself, Kira? Did you enjoy the game? Did you? When I was awake, yes. Yes. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a proper food going there. Um, it's all right. It happens. Yeah, no, you, like you can tell the amount of detail and effort that, that went into that other than just, because they didn't have to go into that level of detail for voodoo. They no, They could have gotten away yeah. skimming like other games do. Mm. But, um, yeah, I know. And, like, giving other characters actual, like, yeah. personality. Yeah. Like Grace not letting mm. him get away with anything. Yeah. Like, it, 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 and the fact that they, they don't necessarily stay that personality as well. Mm. A lot of them do change. In fact, yeah. like, you know, right. Grace being an independent soul, and then suddenly, when all this stuff does kind of kick off, she needs to now rely on Gabriel. But for, vice versa. Yeah. Gabriel starts growing. Starts growing as a person. You know, and we all, and you know, me and you care, we all love a bit of emotional growth in our TV we shows. Do. So we really do. We really do, so. <laughs> like, like, you can see it with Gabriel and I, is the fact that, like, yeah. at a certain point, he does actually. That's going to be there for the, drink the teasers, instead of moving her. No, she's just being very fucking lazy, like, just, <laughs> and non-sociable. Yeah, whatever you're, well, actually, Amy, what did you think of Gabriel and I? Hmm. Hmm. That's a fair point, actually. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that, you know. The fact that Tim Curry said daddy a few times. Well, they actually did actually lot, 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 a lot of death in the game. You're quite right. Can yeah. you ever contribute something more than that? Jesus Christ. We're doing all the work here. Like, to be fair, I know I know we do most of the heavy lifting on this channel as it is, Foxy, but fuck me, like, you know. Today really shows it, you know. Yeah. Any final, final words, Amy? Come on. Pull your way. How profound. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, did you enjoy the game, Kieran? <coughs> I did. Yes. Yeah. That's good. I think it was a good story, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's interesting enough that like I am actually I would like to see the second one. Mm. It will be mm. in the hat. So yes. Yeah. It will be in the hat. We will get there eventually. We will exactly it depends if it comes out. And uh, unfortunately, we have uh, I say unfortunately we already have decided what our next game is going mm -hmm. to be. And uh, again, it promised to be quite an intriguing one because the next game we'll be playing is Shadow of the Comet, uh, which is a uh, take on the Shadow Over Innsmouth short story from H.P. Lovecraft. So it very much wears its Lovecraft inspiration on its sleeve. It is literally a retelling of the short story, except this town is called Illsmith instead of Innsmouth. Similar but legally distinct. Um, and again, the story is about a young uh, uh, investigative photographer called John T. Parker. I'm not sure what the T stands for, but we'll assume with Tiberius. Uh, and he's a... Uh, Trigger. <laughs> Trigger Parker. <laughs> it's not fucking Owls and Fields and Horses, all right? You never know. Well, Trigger will be, be appropriate if he's a photographer. That is true. Yeah. That's a fair point, yeah. He's British as well, so, you know, it's, it's entirely possible. Know. Trigger yeah. happy fucking like, photographer. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. that's true. But, uh, yeah, so he's basically travelling to, uh, to Illsmouth to... Uh, take pictures of comets mm -hmm. but that's not the only reason he's there mm -hmm. as we'll find out at the start of the game but um but uh, do, 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 indeed but uh yes and we'll, we'll find out all about that when we start off our play our uh, session of that uh, next time on the game gallery but for now for a food coma induced uh kira for a mildly intrigued foxy and for a dead silent amy I've never heard her this quiet. I've known her for two years, and this is the only time I've heard her said this quietly. And we never will Shocking. again. Yeah. yeah. Like, she can have a throat infection and she'd still be talking. Like, it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. But anyway, this is, where we, this is what I have to live work with today. So, nevertheless, lads, thank you very much for this. Uh, the, for watching this edition of the Game Gallery, and we'll see you next time for some Lovecraftian fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, I... What she said. Do, do what Kira says. She'll be very disappointed in you. Show your, show, that, that is very true. Show your, I, show. I would be mostly disappointed if you do not share and comment. Honestly, tell tell us what you think. Yeah. 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 Give them give them your suggestions. Dude. Suggestions for games. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, do the all the YouTube stuff for Kira. Be disappointed. Show your disappointed face. Tell you what, everyone. That. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Kira, here you go. Back in the room. Back in the room. Back in the room. 
You're back in the room. Okay, okay. we're good. We're good. See you next time. Jeez, that was fucking close.